Hey Thomas. Um, so here is another. Yeah, it's my own recording of the uh, about the uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro. As you can see here, I've got Logic Pro open, and um, yeah, this remote desktop connection. I think you should. I mean, you can find it in your application folder. So I got my Windows connected. <coughs> oh, let's do that environment stuff first. So um, now. Actually, let's start up the uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro in our slave machine. I have them all ready connected. So yeah, don't worry about all my icons. These are just all my stuff. But we're going to scroll down to uh, Vienna Ensemble Pro. And because my PC is running a 64-bit uh, um, operating system and my Mac also. So let's just open this Vienna Ensemble Pro server. 64 bit. Yep, start up. Yeah, this is the file. Looks fancy, right? Okay, as you can see, the instance we don't have any instances, so we uh, add new instances. Let's call it contest strings because I'm gonna load up some um, all these foreign strings over there. Yeah, <coughs> now as you yeah, so you can see, um. Pretty straightforward. Let's delete this thing first. And here, because um, I think all the instruments in a Windows environment they um usually they functions as some um, VST. So <coughs> we're gonna add plugin. So VST plugin 64 bit. I got my contact 16 out stereo here. Let's open that up. right and here we go and um, right now let's actually this window should be bigger what you can't do that okay whatever okay um let's scroll down as you see as you can see um this is pretty messed up here let me add some channels let's add three channels four maybe violin one two viola shallow bass okay so we got this three and four these names are all mixed up just don't worry as long as they show up as some um, plug-in like the plug-in number five and six is cool so here yeah seven and eight nine and ten so I got five stereo pairs. Ooh, why is this happening? All right, the output session is done. Close that. Well, yeah, we might just want to do some preferences here. Um, actually, yeah, I got four threads already. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Preserve. I don't know what preserve mean but I have them de decoupled already oh no actually not so decouple that <coughs> so what we usually do we load up a string a whole string ensemble first okay so we do violin one 16 players full section just give it a full legato I think this one loads faster though right MIDI channel 1 ST1 that looks good and now we go to our violin 2 yeah 16 players 32 violins yeah yeah let's go to here yeah ST2 no we got uh, violas yeah 12 yeah let's go for big legato these are pretty huge actually come on don't hang up on me come on okay well let's wait let's wait for that meanwhile we're gonna go back here so I've already add eight instruments so now we're gonna do we go to AU instruments VSL 
as you can see I have the uh, standard VN Ensemble which you and I both have but right let's go to VN Ensemble Pro here I have the demo let's have it uh, like multi output I think it's all the same here I'll give it four threads connect contact strings let's connect that oops and yep I have a dec decouple oh no why are you opening that one force clip yeah yeah, this miss clip. So I have my viola, and let's go up some cellos, ten cellos. It's always good. Okay, let's forget about the bass for now. But yeah, you can see uh, my patches are lo all loaded here now. Yeah, the MIDI channels should be all actually here instead of one and two, one through sixteen. Because I think the way it functions is that this track receives all MIDI channel signals, and they're gonna split up inside a meta frame here to one through four or whatever. How, I mean, how many MIDI channels do you have? So let's leave it all. So it receives all data, and it's gonna split out here inside the contact instance. And now we're going to add input. So this input is from contact instrument out. <coughs> this is from here yeah, out one, two. Actually, yeah, it's going out from out one. Yeah, this out one is output one, which is all. We have only one output. But this number two means this ST2 here. So, yeah. So the input should be, yeah, number two. And that's our violin two. I mean, why, is, why isn't this showing up? Right. I'll move it up a little bit. And then we add another, add another. So this viola, and this should be cello. Okay. So it's going to output three and four, output five and six, output seven and eight, and the input here for viola, ST3. T4. So now, here, this instance is like all virtual instruments. The output of it, the output one and two of that instrument of contact, I mean, output, output one and two, the output one and two, actually, it's this ST1 going to output one and two it's hardwired in the software and output two violin two which is going to be the output three and four it corresponds here with three and four this means st2 three and four so we're in a good shape here we got that all set up I don't want to pan this right now and now we go back let's do that environment thing we add a new instrument multi instrument we're going to call it VE Pro Strings. Okay, so yeah, just enable all these. All these guys, click it. I'm not going to do the transformer thing here, but just so you know, we should do it anyway. We need add aux and then. This one is screwed up. Put it back to MIDI channel all. And then, yeah. 
and just in case I think this is this is obviously the uh, the violin arc so let's make this violin too maybe I don't know but should we uh, yeah actually this is this should be violin one but we have problem yeah we have a problem so say that it's violin two because the output is still corresponds still corresponds to violin two. Yep. And whatever it is, we're gonna add four external MIDI tracks. I don't want your library. Actually I got only one. Okay, let's add three of them. Okay, so this is violin one. MIDI channel one, violin two, MIDI channel two, viola, MIDI channel three, and cello, MIDI channel four. Well, if everything is done right, I should now be hearing the sounds from my instruments. Yeah, I got my violin going. I got my violin two going. I got my viola going. Cello. Yep. So now we're basically set up. And if you want to save this meta frame, well, I don't know why, but save project. Well, maybe save project S. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. Yeah, so this is contact string template. Okay. And and just so you know, here the pro in the pro server, no matter how many instances you add here and you want to save Oh, actually, this is the project actually. And I mean, you want to save the meta frame. Save MetaFrame as. Yeah. So now, if you want to open the MetaFrame. No? You won't let me open? Okay, whatever. So now you see here is connected to my, my Mac here. But no matter how many instances you have in here it's all going to be saved into one meta frame okay so yeah i think that's about it i can exit now and because i can got here everything going on pretty well i don't know if i should add some more aux here because i really don't like this i mean the output one and two where's my output one and two I hate it when I don't have output one and two, but yeah, this basically is. So yeah, we um, exit here. No, right, right, right. Um, actually, I should go back to my Mac. Disconnect. Close this, and then exit. No, I don't want to save my changes. And that's basically it hope you enjoyed the video man and okay where is my recording